Hey friends, and welcome back to Sewing From Scratch. I am Kate, and this is where I teach you everything I know about sewing, and we learn more together along the way. Today is episode number five in our bra sewing series. I think it's five. And we are talking about tips, tips for sewing. So I know we haven't actually sewn the bras yet, but I wanted to give these tips ahead of time so you can kind of keep them in mind. I know you're not gonna really understand some of them, but most of them are pretty general. And I think you will be able to apply these tips going forward in our bra sewing series. If you are just joining us for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so glad you're here. I want to let you know that I am not a seasoned bra sewist. This is only actually the second bra that I have ever made. So we're kind of learning through this together, which I think is really unique. And we can kind of troubleshoot and figure things out together and just gives kind of a fresh perspective to learning something and if you haven't caught any of the earlier videos i will leave the playlist down below for the entire bra sewing series and don't forget if you are new hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos in this series there is two left so what i want to say first is that bra sewing really is quite simple now again i've only sewn up one other bra before and I'm working on this second bra and I'm using the ruby bra pattern from pinup girls and it's I would say a great beginner pattern because there's nothing I've found that's been like really difficult or tricky a couple tips that I want to mention are number one you need to be really precise when you're cutting out your fabric I mean this kind of goes for all garment sewing but especially when you're working with something small where even a millimeter of skewed cutting can make a difference so this might mean cutting out your fabric on one flat layer instead of folding over for cutting two pieces at once. And along the same lines as that is we want to be really precise when we are actually sewing this together. So I think most bras come with about a quarter inch seam allowance. That's pretty small. In knit garment sewing, we are used to that because that's what our sergers do. But this is a little bit different and the materials aren't as maybe easy to work with as when you're serging knit fabrics. So you do want to be really precise on that quarter inch. This might even mean marking in your seam allowance on your fabric pieces. Before you even get started cutting or sewing, it can be super intimidating. So there's a couple tips I want to mention in that category. Number one is make a test bra. Kind of run through things a few times. Number one, to get the fit. That's the most important thing. Make adjustments, get the fit right, so that when you are ready to cut into your pretty fabric, you know it's going to be a great fit. And secondly, just to kind of get used to bra sewing, to get some practice in without using up your good fabrics. It's a great way to run through the pattern and the instructions to, again, just understand what is going on and the construction of a bra. And then you can kind of gather all your materials and figure out what's what. So again, we went through the materials already, but we're talking about like duoplex and power net and all these different fabrics that you might have not heard of, the findings, the hardware, all these things. Gather them up, figure out what's what, feel them, stretch them, kind of figure out what they're for. If it's the band or the cups or or what you might use these different pieces for. Why are there different sides elastic? Go through it, go through your pattern figure out everything even make notes like sticky notes or pin uh, a piece of paper fabric something like that so you know what you're dealing with so that when it does come time to cut out those fabrics you have in your head you know i'm going to use this fabric for the band i'm going to use this fabric for the cups these elastics are for the bottom band etc and then you you've already taken the first step and it's kind of makes things less overwhelming i guess when it's actually time to go and make the bra this also helps us get comfortable with the pattern pieces. So we can prepare a pattern, cut out all the pieces and all of that kind of thing and figure out what pieces go together to make the cup, how do we make the band, what's the front part. This will also come into play when you're doing your test bra, which is actually the next video in this series. Hint, hint. And be a beginner. Allow yourself to be a beginner. It may have been many years ago that you were a beginner sewist. But the beauty of being a beginner is you're not really scared to make a mistake because your expectations might not be very high on yourself. And I encourage that. I love that we can just go ahead with blind curiosity and create. And don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to use your seam ripper. Be careful as you can and all these things, but realize that you don't have to get it right the first time. And even as experienced sewists, working on something we've done a hundred times before, 
We don't need to get it right the first time. And that's fine. This is a craft. This is a practice. It's not perfection. So kind of, I don't know, I guess sit with that realization and that truth that you don't have to get it right the first time. We are learning a new denomination of, of our craft and our skills. So it's really fun and embrace that and embrace the learning process. And as you're making those mistakes, take some notes. As you're fitting your bra, take some notes. Take as many notes as you can so that as you work on it next time, next time, next time, you know what not to do. You know what to adjust in your pattern pieces. You know you don't particularly like the way the instructions are written for a certain part. You kind of researched a way to do it differently. Then make a note on that so that you can remember that going forward. Because I'm willing to bet that I'm not alone when I say I'm going to get to something soon and then it ends up being weeks months years down the road before i get to it so notes are your best friend the biggest lie i ever tell myself is i'll remember that even take notes on the different materials you like or didn't like it will come in handy down the line now when it comes time to do some sewing maybe it's your tester bra you want to read through the instructions ahead of time this kind of goes along with the preparation of the materials read through your instructions Get a feel for what they're talking about. Try and visualize it. Pattern pieces. This is highly important in pretty much, I would say, all sewing projects, especially if it's a new to you kind of technique. Read through the instructions. Figure it out before you actually do it so that when you get to that part, you've kind of already let it sink in. You're marinating. You're marinating the instructions here. So marinate your instructions before you actually get to the sewing. And it just, it does help. And it also prevents some mistakes from happening, especially if there's things in the instructions about sizing. So for example, with the Ruby bra pattern, your BCD size is actually for the foam cup. If you're not using the foam cup, they recommend you go up a size. I don't think I read that when I did my first Ruby bra. And I think that is where my problem happened. So now I'm able to obviously realize that and I made the other bra so I know it's too small I can now go up a cup size up two cup sizes to figure out what's going to fit me best because I actually read the instructions after the fact but don't do that learn from my mistakes read the instructions first you might even need to read them a few times I highly encourage that and when you are working on your tester bra don't be afraid to ask for help I know it can be kind of embarrassing Embarrassing? Is that the right word? We're sharing like intimate details about our bodies and I mean that's not fun. There is a Facebook group that I will post down below that I have posted pictures of myself in and I've received a lot of I guess professional help that you know it wasn't I felt safe. It feels like a safe space and I mean once you you get the help you're looking for you can delete those pictures too. So if you are looking for something like that I will leave that face group down below. You don't have to post pictures of yourself if you don't want. You can explain it. Uh, you could send somebody that you trust, send them a private message. I don't know much about bra fitting, so I'm not going to volunteer for that just because I don't think you're going to get the results you need. But find kind of a bra sewing mentor and don't be afraid to ask for help because I would say most of the sewing community is quite helpful and willing to to kind of give you guidance and especially in bra making it's something that we want to fit perfectly and all of us as women realize that so we want to help our sisters have a bra that fits them perfectly you know it's like extremely liberating and why wouldn't we want to share that with everybody so don't be afraid to ask for help and i will link that facebook group down in the description box below so you can join it as well if you you're looking for fit help. Another option is finding someone on Instagram who maybe sews a lot of that style bra. You could reach out to them and see if maybe they're willing to help with some fit adjustment. You can also use your ready to wear bras for many. So for inspiration, you could use it for fit help. So say there is something that's working in your ready to wear bra, you can compare it to your tester to see what the differences are. It's not going to be obviously a complete comparison, but there will be things that you can learn. So maybe you like the, the elastic strap instead of the stabilized strap. You know that. You can adjust your bra for that. No. You know which way the hook and eye closes. So you can put your hook and eye on the correct side that's comfortable for you. You can know if you like foam cups or not foam cups better. You can learn all these things from ready to wear. And I think that's why a lot of us have been 
push into sewing our own bras because ready to wear isn't working for us. So we know what's not working for us. So now let's take that and adapt it and figure out what is working for us. And looking at a ready to wear bra, looking at the construction of it, etc., can also just help us visualize what's coming ahead for us and how it's going to, how it's gonna work, how it's gonna come together. Again, just marinating the process. Speaking of the process, we need to trust the process. You need to trust the process in pretty much all garment sewing. If it's a designer that you have sewn before and you realize that he or she does great work, you can trust the process of the instruction. I don't know how many times I've been working on a garment and I'm like, this does not sound right, this does not sound right, and I don't do it the way that it's written in the instructions and I pay for it. I end up having to seam rip or go back and do something different. So if I just trust the process, do it the way that it's laid out in the instructions, then I can see, okay, this did make sense in the end. It's maybe not the way I would have done it, but now I know that it does work. And here's what I can do differently the next time. Just trust the process and you will likely get the end result. And now I have a few more tips that deal with the actual sewing construction of the bra. Number one, and uh, don't ask me how I know this, but make sure that you are making a left and a right bra cup. You need to mirror the pieces, but then you don't need to flip the pieces over. It, it just make a left and a right. I also recommend using a new needle once you start sewing. The type of needle will kind of depend on what you're sewing, what materials you're using, but I would say ballpoint is probably a pretty good start because we're gonna be sewing through elastic and through fibers that aren't really woven and a ballpoint needle or a stretch needle isn't going to hurt a woven material the way a universal needle would hurt a knit material, if that makes sense. And then once you get to the actual sewing, go slow. I've already talked about the seam allowance being so important. Go slow, take your time. Again, don't be afraid to seam rip. Most of these seams are really tiny and it's better to fix something earlier on than later on down the road when you've already like top stitched or triple zigzag or something like that. And finally, the one thing I didn't like about the Ruby bra pattern, the first one I made, is the exposed seams in the center. So they do have you opening up the seams and top stitching it down, but it still just looks homemade to me. I love homemade stuff. I love using the word homemade. I'm not using it in like a super negative way here, but it's just not finished as professionally as I would like. So if you are doing a duoplex cup, like unlined, you might want to put in a second layer of lining or go over your seams with some ribbon or something like that, just so that you don't get this kind of jagged, unfinished look. In my version, I'm actually going to be using sheer cup lining and then lace on top, which I have obviously never done before. So we will see how that turns out but my plan is to make the two layers and then have each of them, the seam allowances going towards each other. So then on the other sides, it's, uh, it's you don't see the seam allowances. So we will see how that turns out. Stay tuned to see what happens. Thank you so much for watching and being part of this series. All of November is going to be for this series. I just am so excited at how many people are watching and wanting to learn how to sew bras. It's, again, it's just so empowering and liberating. And it's great to think that we can all have bras that fit us properly because we have the technology. So again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the future ones coming out. And I will see you there. Thanks again. Bye.